everybody, it's me, Autistic Genius, and welcome to the final video of the year. Well, no, not quite the final video of the year, the final video like this of the year. But anywho, let's, well, yeah. Um, this year has been the greatest year of my life, because finally I have found something that I think I'm good at. Something that I can see being my future. And for the first time in my life, I actually know what I want to do with it. And that is be autistic genius and keep raising autism awareness and understanding. That is my future. That is my future. Even if I earn money doing it, even if I don't, that is my future. I've learned a lot of things over the year. Like I've met some amazing people. One of the questions that I ask myself a lot as the year has gone on is, um, what fuels the autism community? Why is there an autism community? But what powers it? What drives it? Why do we have an autism community? That is the way it is. And there's one thing that drives the autism community and it's the center of everything that I've witnessed on the autism community. And it's love. Now you might think, love, how do you mean? I mean, I love being autistic and I love sharing that with everyone. So that's what I do and it helps people. So then I love helping people, I love being autistic and that's how it is for me. I know a lot of people out there who are autism parents who do raise a lot of awareness and they do that because they love their children and want their children to grow up in a, a more understanding world. There's a lot of doctors out there who do a lot of autism awareness training. They raise awareness and understanding by doing talks and lectures and they do it because they love their patients and also they love teaching people about autism because they find it fascinating and I love the autism community, I love how it's accepted me so quickly and I love that people are willing to listen to what I have to say. It really, it's really nice, really, really nice. I remember sitting in a classroom, maybe, I must have been five, and I was doing something, some work, some writing or something, whatever it was. And I just sat there and the little girl was in front of me, who somebody I knew at the school, a bit of a friend. And she did something which was good. And I did something that was may have been good, I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what it was. It was, it was writing. And for the first time that day I sat down and I, ri I saw what she did and saw what I did. And I went, I'm different. I'm not like everybody else. I don't think like everybody else. I've always known that I'm different to everybody else. Always. But I've never known why or what, what it was. And then one day, when I was 15, nearly 16, a doctor said, you have Asperger's syndrome. And the first thing I said to my mum is, what's Asperger's syndrome? Is it going to kill me? Will I die? She said, no, and I said, oh, okay, that's fine. And all the doctor's advice was to go and research it and learn about it, but I had no interest in doing that. But before I was diagnosed, I was told to read the book, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, and my mum pushed me to do it, and I'm glad she did, because it changed my life, because it, it was how I thought, and I, for the first time, I felt like maybe I'm not that different, maybe there is other people like me, and I continued on at school, um, just got through it. I couldn't really give a monkeys about school. And then when I left, I went to college and I met a lady called Nettie. She'll kill me for mentioning her name. And she's amazing. And all the support team that she gave me. And through that support team, they were teaching me a lot of things about autism. And then I started to see them in me. As I started learning about autism, I started to see what the traits were and what other things were and I was trying to separate the autism traits from the personality traits and I find that I used to think autism was a battle between the personality and the autism and every day you'd have a battle and then some days the personality would win and some days the autism would win but really it's 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 not that at all it's just it's just a different way of seeing the world and thinking and I am oddly right now thinking about it extremely grateful 
to have been gifted with this way of thinking. Yeah, it has its bad days, but more good days than bad. And when they're good, they're incredible. And I just love being who I am and being autistic. That's all I've got time for now, guys. By the way, this is the last video like this for the year, but don't worry, please still keep coming to the YouTube channel, come into the Facebook page, come into Twitter, because it's all still going to be alive. I will continue doing Sun Diary, so there'll be weekly vlogs. What I will say is, thank you very much for everything. And if I don't see you again, have a very Merry Christmas and an Autistic New Year. <laughs>